Hello, everybody, and thank you for tuning in to the Weekly Report. America's Most Dangerous Unknown Man. The U.S. Senate will soon vote on Federal Reserve Chairman Jerome Powell's nomination to a second term. One of the senators opposing Powell is Elizabeth Warren. I don't often agree with Senator Warren, but I do agree with her assessment that Powell is dangerous. However, Warren actually doesn't understand what makes Powell or any Fed chairman intrinsically dangerous to liberty and prosperity. Warren thinks Powell is dangerous because she thinks he will not be supportive enough of imposing her desired new regulations on banks and other financial institutions. Senator Warren, like most progressives, clings to a fantastical notion that regulations benefit workers, consumers, and small businesses. The truth is, most regulations benefit large corporations by imposing costs that big businesses can easily absorb, but that their smaller competitors cannot. Powell is a threat to the American people. Under his tenure, the Fed has kept interest rates at or near zero. The Fed's balance sheet has grown to over $8 trillion. This has caused prices to climb at a rate America has not seen in several decades. At his nomination hearings before the Senate Banking Committee, Powell reiterated the Fed's intention to fight inflation by reducing its monthly $120 billion purchase of treasuries and mortgage-backed securities. Powell also stated that the Fed is planning to increase interest rates this year. However, even if the Fed follows through on this, interest rates will remain at historically low levels. Powell, like Elizabeth Warren and other progressives, dangerously believes that the Fed should go woke. However, Powell is still not woke enough for progressives who lobbied President Joe Biden to replace Powell with Fed Board Chairman Brainerd, the biggest supporter of Elizabeth Warren-style regulations on the Fed Board. Brainerd is more committed than Powell to using monetary and regulatory policies to advance the woke agenda. President Biden did end up nominating Brainerd to become vice chairman at the Fed. A Powell Brainerd Fed would likely use social and climate justice as a justification for expanding the Fed's easy money policy. President Biden has recently nominated Sarah Raskin to the Fed board, who also has advocated for the Fed to use its power to fight climate change. A central bank committed to the social justice and climate change agendas will inevitably increase the Fed's inflation tax. Contrary to the claims of some progressives, lower income Americans are primary victims of this hidden and regressive tax. Powell prefers to pour his rather zealous and extremist philosophy behind the scenes. Thus, not surprisingly, he is a leading opponent of Audit the Fed. Powell claims that bringing transparency to the Fed's conduct of monetary policy would somehow jeopardize the Fed's independence. Powell's claim is truly fake. There is nothing in the audit the Fed bill giving the Congress or the executive branch any new power over monetary policy. Any group of individuals given the power to manipulate the money supply and manipulate the interest rates that are the price of money poses a threat to our liberty and prosperity. The solution is not to replace Powell with a better Fed chairman or to force the Fed to follow a rule that still allows it to erode the dollar's value. The only way to protect the people from dangerous individuals like Jerome Powell and the rest of the Fed board is to audit and then end the Fed. Thanks for listening.